What's going on all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and today I'm going to give you my top 10 essential buys, must buys, my recommended buys or just recommended titles to read that are coming out in October of 2021. So let's do this. Welcome back everybody. Before getting started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and ring that bell for notifications. All that helps with our YouTube algorithm and our channel keep growing. So this is the segment where I just say, hey, if there were only 10 books I could choose to get this month, what would they be? And these are the books that I'm either recommending to you all or I want to get myself uh, in case you know, you're know you wondering, because I've been asked to do this, and uh, by all means, leave your top 10 list down below, leave your top 5, your top 3, your top 20, whatever it is, leave them down below in the comment section. Now, again, I stress that the dates may change on some of these, so keep that in mind, and if they do, hey, you get an extra book essential buy in the month of November. That's the way I look at it. All right, for the week of October 6th, I'm definitely recommending, of course... The Death of Captain Marvel. It's one of the most iconic, beautiful books. I did an advanced overview of it. This collects Marvel Super Heroes 12 through 13, which introduces the character. Captain Marvel 1, when he got his own series. 34, which is the fight with Nitro. Uh, Marvel Spotlight 1 and 2. And then Marvel Graphic Novel number 1, which kicked off the graphic novel line. And it's The Death of Captain Marvel. It's a beautiful, true-to-life story. It's so unfair. But 100%, if you've never read it, do yourself a favor. Uh, from DC Comics on October 5th, we're getting The Deathstroke by Christopher Priest Omnibus. This is a big one, baby. $150, 1,392 pages, thicker than a snicker. So we've got Deathstroke by Christopher Priest, everything that he worked on. So we're getting Deathstroke Rebirth number one, Titans 11, Teen Titans 8 through 29. That must be material from that series. It can't be everything. Deathstroke, Deathstroke, Uncanny Omar Talk Pretty One Day, Deathstroke 1 through 50, The Lazarus Contract Special number one. So all of that is collected in there with those issues of Titans and Teen Titans. DC Holiday Special 2017 number one and annual number one from the rebirth era this is freaking christopher priest the guy that put black panther on the map for me i know a lot of people love the original stuff by stan lee uh roy thomas and don mcgregor jack kirby but for me black panther phenomenal like i i just, i can't say enough about christopher priest run of black panther but he has written this, and oh my gosh, it's so good. I cannot wait to get this. I had some of the trade paperbacks, and I, I think I ended up giving them away when I found out about this particular omnibus. So hell yes. Uh, also from DC Comics, but the week of October 12th, Batwoman, finally. Book that was canceled and brought back from the darkness. Kicking it off with, of course, Greg Rucka's run and J.H. Williams' run on Detective Comics. So this has Detective Comics 654 to 6, or I'm sorry, 8, I'm so excited I can't talk. 854 to 863, Batwoman number 0, that's the new 52 era of Batwoman, and 0 through 24 of Batwoman as well as annual number 1. So everything is in here with the exception of the 52 era, uh, the 52 issues of her first appearance. But everything else you need is in here. Oh my god, the artwork by J.H. Williams. Some of the most stunning pieces of art. I cannot wait to showcase uh, this book on video. It's beautiful. Junji Ito, Cat Diary, Yon and Moo Collector's Edition hardcover. Look, 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 look. The first, this has already been released in trade paperback format. It's 120 pages. You know what got me? Hardcover Collector's Edition. You know what else got me? 128 pages. Baby, all you need to do is add eight more pages to that book, and I'm in like an idiot. But yes, of course I want this. <laughs> oh my gosh. My daughter loved this book. This is, uh... So Juji Ito, who's known for his manga horror, is a huge cat lover. And this is, like, his own life, talking about his cats. But uh, it's cute, and it's in hardcover format. October 20th, Marvel Masterworks, Tomb of Dracula, Volume 1. Yes. 100%. I... That... The the amount of love that goes into making some of these masterworks, and they're not all, you know, wonderful and perfect, but the amount of restoration that they do on some of these is just so stellar. So, of course, I'm recommending that. I can't wait um, 
to finish reading it. I just kicked it off with Tomb of Dracula number one. But this collects the first 11 issues of Tomb of Dracula, the series that started in 1972. Uh, you're going to have stuff in here from Neil Adams, uh, Gene Colan, and of course, Mark Wolfman. But it also collects Dracula 1 and 2, 280 pages. This one's $75 because it is a Marvel masterwork. Kingdom Hearts, baby. Kingdom Hearts. Of course I want to get this. This is the uh, character files. So it is officially in English for the first time. And it's got artwork throughout the years of different characters uh, and locations of the Kingdom Hearts world. Brings back a lot of memories playing those games. Something is killing the children. I mean, did you? That, one of my favorite Boom comics of all time and one of my favorite reads of 2020. Of course, I'm going to suggest this. The sad thing is, is that it is volume one. So keep that in mind. It's not everything. But that's okay. So it's available in two ways. It's available in a slipcase format, which is $69.99, and in a deluxe edition format, which is $49.99, and this has the first 15 issues of that series. And the slipcase edition is limited to a first print run. So one thing to keep in mind if you're interested in that book at all. Jodorowsky's Library Edition. And this has Megalex in there. Um, it, this is published by Humanoids, $39.99. A lot of these stories were just out of print, and these hardcovers went out of print, and oh my god, they go for a lot of money sometimes. But this is being reprinted for the first time, so you're getting three different stories in here. You have Annabelle number 5, Mega Megalex, and Screaming Planet. So actually, Screaming Planet, if I'm not mistaken, has the Addy Granoff story in there. But I love Megalex. I have that hardcover. I don't know the dimensions of these, but to have them all in hardcover format, you have me a Jodorowsky Library Edition. I'm hoping they're oversized, but for $39.99, I'm assuming they're standard size hardcovers. I don't know until I get it. I've been reaching out uh, to Humanoids to see um, if they could at least give me the dimensions of the book. Hill House box set. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I hope it's not delayed. It's not the latest of this video. Please don't break my heart if it is after you're watching this and you're like, Omar, this, this was delayed a week ago. I recorded this a bit back, okay? So this collects Sea Dogs, Plunge, The Lolo Woods, The Dollhouse Family, and Daphne Byrne. And all of them are in trade paperback format and they're all written by Joe Hill. Or, I'm sorry, they all take place in the Joe Hill, Hill House universe. And they're all drawn by different uh, artists. So... I think this would be perfect to kick off Halloween, and I hope it comes on time. So some of the some of these, like I think Sea Dogs is written by Joe Hill, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you also have artwork in here from like Stuart Eminem. Then you also have artwork in here from Danny. Uh, you have Peter Gross, like I mentioned from the Dollhouse Family, and Daphne Byrne. I think that one is Kelly Jones, and Daphne Byrne is the one I'm looking forward to because that's Kelly Jones on art. And my last pick for that month is Silent Voice, the complete uh, the complete collector's edition hardcover. So yes, this is the story a about a girl that can't hear and her bully. And this is I've watched the anime. I have not read the manga, so this is more for me. And I bought I almost I came close to buying the box set so many times and then i heard that this was announced so there's only going to be two volumes of this this collects volumes one and half of four so all the way one two and three and then half of volume four and then i guess the next volume will wrap it up in this hardcover format 700 pages crisp premium paper and more than 50 pages of new content it is deluxe and large size hardcover i can't wait now, when these books come out, check out our sponsors. If you live in Europe and are interested in pre-ordering or purchasing Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC big books within the EU, flat shipping of 990 euro for EU countries, extremely careful and sturdy packaging, emails are answered within 24 hours, and they have a superb selection of new releases and out-of-print books on their website. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And for a limited time, you can use the code near Min condition all one word at the checkout for free shipping to all EU countries with your first order.
Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for your mentees. If you're a first-time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the check out and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order this promotion is valid for u.s customers only cheap graphic novels your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more and those were my top 10 picks let me know what yours are leave those comments down below and if any of the books that i mentioned pique your interest if you have any more questions leave your questions down below again this was the uncanny omar thank you all so much for watching thank you again to our patrons for making videos like this possible and more importantly, all of you stay healthy, stay safe, and much love.